Image number one, the intriguing universe of Cassiopeia, a delve into the cosmic wonders of Cassiopeia. A, a supernova remnant nestled in the constellation of Cassiopeia, located a staggering 11,090 light years away from us. The James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel in space technology, brings us closer to this celestial phenomenon, revealing its secrets in a way never seen before. At the heart of Cassiopeia A, we discover an intricate dance of elements, tiny knots of gas containing sulfur, oxygen, argon, and neon, tell the story of the star's dramatic end. These knots are so small that some are barely discernible, even by the powerful gaze of the James Webb Space Telescope. Imagine, these fragments are less than 10 billion miles across, roughly 100 times the distance from the Earth to the Sun. What caused this star to shatter in such a spectacular fashion, like glass in the sky? Researchers are piecing together this cosmic puzzle, and each discovery brings new excitement. The remnants of this stellar explosion form a breathtaking scene of circular holes and vibrant loops known as the Green Monster within the heart of Cassiopeia A. These loops, outlined in ghostly white and purple, are actually ionized gas. It's a visual spectacle of the supernova debris sweeping through the space once occupied by the star, reshaping the very fabric of the cosmos. But there's more. The James Webb Space Telescope has captured something truly mesmerizing. Light echoes. These are glimpses of the star's explosion, reaching far off dust and making it shine as it gradually cools. One of these echoes, endearingly named Baby CA's A, is particularly striking. It lies about 170 light years behind the remnants of the supernova, a silent witness to the star's dramatic demise. Imagine a cosmic canvas about 19 light years wide. That's the scale of the main image of Cassiopeia A we're looking at. It's like observing a tiny slice of our galaxy's history, frozen in time. Each particle and wave of light tells a story of a star's life and its explosive end, a narrative spanning thousands of years. In this journey through Cassiopeia A, we not only explore the remnants of a star, but also the capabilities of human curiosity and technological prowess. The James Webb Space Telescope allows us to reach back in time, unveiling the mysteries of the cosmos in ways that stir our imagination and fuel our quest for knowledge. What will we discover next in this vast universe? The journey continues. Image number two, unveiling cosmic dust in supernova. Gaze into the depths of the universe and you'll find the James Webb Space Telescope revealing secrets of two type two supernovae, known as Supernova 2004 EAT and Supernova 2017 EAW. These cosmic phenomena are nestled in the spiral arms of NGC 6946, a galaxy in the Cygnus constellation lying about 22 million light years from our planet. What makes these supernovae so fascinating? They're not just explosive events in space, they're creators of cosmic dust, vital to the fabric of the universe. This dust is key to understanding how the early universe was enriched. Let's explore these stellar wonders. In the images captured by Webb, each supernova tells a different story. On the left, Supernova 2004, E shows a fascinating array of colors. The bluer hues indicate hotter dust, a relic of the intense heat of the explosion. In contrast, the redder areas signal cooler dust, which has managed to survive the turmoil. But why does Supernova 2004E have a hexagonal shape? It's not a celestial mystery, but rather an artifact from Webb's mirror and struts. When bright light from such a distant point source hits the sharp edges of the telescope, it creates these unique diffraction spikes Supernova 2017 EAW, displayed on the right, currently shows less dust and appears hotter, hence its bluer color in the images. However, as time passes, scientists predict it will evolve to resemble its cosmic neighbor, Supernova 2004 ET. Speaking of dust, did you know that Supernova 2004 ET is home to more than 5,000 Earth masses of dust? That's an immense amount rivaling the famous Supernova 1987A, located much closer to us, at 170,000 light-years away. 
This discovery is a significant milestone in our understanding of how supernovae contribute to dust production in the universe. As we look at these images, spanning about 2.9 arc minutes across, roughly 19,000 light years, we're not just seeing an event, we're witnessing the ongoing life cycle of the universe. These supernovae are more than just end-of-life explosions for stars. They're cosmic factories, churning out the very dust that will go on to form new stars and planets, possibly even new life. The James Webb Space Telescope continues to unlock the mysteries of the universe, showing us that even in destruction, there's creation. What will we learn next from these distant, dusty supernovae in the expanse of space? The journey through the cosmos is full of surprises. Image number three, the hidden gem in the cosmos, discovering Donatiello II. Have you ever wondered what secrets the universe holds in its vast expanse? Hidden among a canvas of distant stars and galaxies far beyond our reach, there lies a modest yet intriguing celestial body, the dwarf galaxy Donatiello II. Spotting this galaxy isn't easy. It's like finding a needle in a cosmic haystack. Even the most advanced algorithms designed to scour the skies for galaxies missed this faint cluster of stars. Sometimes it takes the keen eye of a human, not just machines, to uncover the wonders of the universe. Donatiello II's discovery story begins with the Dark Energy Survey, DES, an extensive six-year astronomical project. This survey, while using advanced equipment, made its data publicly available a common practice for major telescopes supported by public funds. Enter Giuseppe Donatiello, an amateur astronomer with a passion for the stars. He meticulously sifted through the DES data and made a remarkable find. Three faint galaxies, now known as Donatiello II, III, and Ivoy. These galaxies are not just floating alone in space. They are gravitationally bound to the larger sculptor galaxy, also known as NGC 253. Imagine these small galaxies as cosmic companions, dancing around their massive neighbor in the cosmic ballet of the universe. But how do we confirm such a discovery? Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, a pinnacle of human ingenuity in space observation. This telescope's powerful gaze was directed at these faint galaxies, including Donatiello II. With its unparalleled ability to capture long exposure images, the James Webb Space Telescope provided crucial confirmation of these galaxies' existence and their connection to the Sculptor Galaxy. This not only validated Donatiello's discovery, but also brought to light a new chapter in our understanding of the universe. Nestled in the constellation Cetus, Donatiello II is a testament to human curiosity and the relentless pursuit of knowledge. It challenges us to look closer, to explore further, and to appreciate the subtle beauty of our universe. What other secrets might be hiding in the vastness of space, waiting for someone to uncover them? The story of Donatiello II is just the beginning. Image number four, a tale of two perspectives, unraveling Max. 0416. Imagine a cosmic gathering where hundreds of galaxies converge, each telling its own story of the universe. This is the reality of Max J0416. 1. 2403, or simply Max 0416, a galaxy cluster residing in the constellation Eridanus. When we look at this cluster through different eyes, we unveil different layers of its enigmatic beauty. Let's embark on a journey through two unique perspectives. On one side, we have the classic view from the Hubble Space Telescope, capturing Max 416 in optical light. This view is like seeing the universe with our own eyes, showing us hundreds of galaxies in stunning detail. But there's more to this picture than meets the eye. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, bringing a new dimension to our cosmic exploration. When Webb looks at the same cluster, it uses infrared light a type of light invisible to our eyes but invaluable in astronomy. Why infrared, you might ask? 
Infrared light can travel vast cosmic distances, passing through dust and gas that usually obscure our view. It allows us to see galaxies that are either too distant or too shrouded in cosmic dust to be visible in optical light. But there's another twist to this story. As the universe expands, light from distant galaxies stretches out, shifting towards the red part of the spectrum, a phenomenon known as redshift. This redshifted light, often escaping our optical view, is precisely what Webb is designed to capture. The comparison between the Hubble and Webb images of Mach 0416 is not just a side-by-side -side display. It's a revelation of how much more there is to discover. While Hubble spent an impressive 122 hours capturing its image, Webb needed only about 22 hours to reveal galaxies that were previously hidden or barely noticeable. It's like having a new set of eyes that can see the universe in a way we've never seen before. Max 0416, through the lens of the James Webb Space Telescope, reminds us that our universe is filled with wonders waiting to be uncovered. It challenges us to look deeper, to explore further, and to question what else might be hiding in the vastness of space. What secrets will the next gaze of Webb reveal to us? The cosmos continues to beckon with its mysteries, and we're just beginning to uncover them. Image number five, the mysteries of Scorpius in the night sky. Cast your eyes to the night sky and you might catch a glimpse of one of the most fascinating constellations, Scorpius, the Scorpion, this image offers a window into the alluring world of Scorpius, a stellar formation steeped in myth and cosmic wonder. Scorpius, a constellation rich in history and lore, lies in the heart of the Milky Way. It's not just a collection of stars, it's a celestial storybook. Each star in Scorpius is a character in a tale that has been told for millennia, captivating astronomers and stargazers alike. But what makes Scorpius truly stand out in the vast canvas of the night sky? Let's delve into the intriguing details. Scorpius is a part of our galaxy, the Milky Way, which is a swirling mass of stars, planets, and other celestial bodies. When we look at Scorpius, we're not just seeing stars. We're witnessing a part of our galaxy's intricate tapestry. The stars of Scorpius are like beacons in the cosmic sea, guiding us through the mysteries of the Milky Way. The constellation of Scorpius is more than a group of stars. It's a gateway to understanding the larger sky phenomena that surround us. It's a reminder that we are part of a vast interconnected universe. Each star in Scorpius contributes to the story of our galaxy, from the fiery heart of the scorpion to its sinuous tail. We saw Scorpius through the eyes of the technology of that era. Today, with the James Webb Space Telescope, we have the opportunity to see Scorpius and other constellations in a new light. Webb's advanced capabilities allow us to peer deeper into the Milky Way, revealing secrets of our galaxy that were once hidden in the darkness. As we gaze at Scorpius, we can't help but wonder what mysteries the James Webb Space Telescope will unveil in this ancient constellation. What new stories will the stars of Scorpius tell us? The exploration of the night sky is an ongoing journey, and constellations like Scorpius are constant reminders of the wonders that await us in the cosmos. Image number six, the luminous tapestry of RCW 38. In the cosmic expanse of the Milky Way, there lies a dazzling assembly of stars known as RCW 38. Residing in the constellation of Vela, this star cluster is a splendid example of the universe's natural artistry. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unparalleled observation capabilities, offers us a glimpse into this stunning cluster. RCW 38 is a young, vibrant gathering of stars, but what exactly makes